I, I have this roommate who, at every night at nine o'clock, he goes to work and he does janitorial work. So I thought it would be great to, uh, to see what he does, and I felt this story was uh, very, very compelling. We went in this this restroom on this women's restroom on the second floor, and like we opened the door, and like it just overpowering smell just reeked into our face. It was it was disgusting. It was a women's bathroom. Um, those those smell awful, but this was magnified twenty times. The smell was to me just like fecal matter from rodents. Lou came to me. He's my boss, and. You know, he said, JB, that, that smell is so bad. We, it's got to be rodent feces. But then we also noticed that there was a, there was a puddle. So I took my machine over there and um, I cleaned it up, but I, I knew that this was not, it was not related to this spill. This was not a smell from water. The original library that we clean uh -huh. on a nightly basis was built in night and finished in 1961. So that central part is the oldest part of the library. It's 40 something years old. And uh, for the most part, it has all the original, like in the bathrooms, it's like the original tile. Lou's boss, uh, D, he, him or someone else found a connection to the, um, the, the urinals on the third floor. And what happened was, Basically, those urinals got old, and the pipes got old, and they broke. The water and the men's urine and stuff was leaking through the wall and down into the, the restroom. That men's restroom that you looked at is the most used restroom in this building. It's the most used building on campus. Upwards to over 10,000 people a day use this building. They determined that was the problem, was the urinals, and so they pulled, actually pulled two of them off the wall, because um, I, I guess they were both leaking. And uh, they pulled them off the wall and ripped out a bunch of tile, and uh, so they're not in use right now. The bathroom's closed. I've had heaps of people come to me the last month and say, well, is there any bathrooms that are open? I mean, uh, there's a there's a demand for the bathrooms in the library. It's it's very highly used. Ten thousand patrons per day is the estimate. That's a third of BYU's uh, student population. They're having difficulties finding a urinal that matches these old old style. They've just been sitting in the restroom, you know, all along with the tile they ripped out on the floor, just untouched for for weeks. That third floor restroom has been closed for going on two months because they still haven't repaired it. I could see the frustration in, in these people's eyes is when I trying to get this bathroom clean because this is a bathroom everyone uses. This is something that they need to, to go forth and, and fix so that um, these 10,000 patrons who walk by can, can use this facility. Um, it, you know, in the process of trying to make things better and to, to continue with their work and uh, keep up be it as a normal janitor, they, they had to improvise and kind of have fun with it. Ben likes to, to joke around and so he, he saw this as a funny situation, so he, I don't know how, but he got the idea one day, like, why don't we make a fake, you know, a fake job posting. We need a, there's a, needs a job, we need to have a job to, to fix this problem. And we typed up, a, we took a job posting um, off of the board and uh, we completely uh, replicated it on Word. Uh, but just typed up. Two restrooms have been shut down indefinitely due to the unbearable smell. It's all in good fun, of course. We just stuck it up on the board. Preferably five foot with a 28 uh, inch waist maximum. I think they actually took it down the next day because they put up new job postings the following day. So, Must be able to work under pressure in tight and dark situations. Headlamp will be provided. I, I doubt that anybody actually saw it, but um, certainly got a kick out of uh, sharing it with people. I shared it with a lot of people, and a lot, most people believed it, but they, they found it hard to believe. You know, it just uh, shows that we, we take advantage of these, these bathrooms, especially the ones that are used most. It, it takes us a long time to, to be able to appreciate this. And this is this American toilet.